and welcome to this video where I'm going to dive into one of the releases that Puff announced in the August release notes video. We've had some very interesting releases, and today I want to talk about Firebase Cloud Messaging supporting notifications on Safari. Yes, you heard it right. Apple has added support for the Push API, so as of Safari 16.1, macOS 16.4, iOS and iPadOS, you can send notifications to your web apps that are served in those versions of Safari. With this new release, it will be even easier to engage with users. One of our engineers wrote a blog post about it, which I'll link in the description. Now, let's see if we can get that working in this video. All right, let's take a look at how you can enable notifications on Safari using Firebase Cloud Messaging, and what else you need to configure to start using this feature since the steps to enable the Push API for Safari are different on macOS, iOS, and iPadOS. To enable it on macOS, all you have to do is wrap the request permission method inside the user action, such as a button click. And that's it. As soon as the user grants the permission, you're ready to send them push notifications. As for iOS and iPadOS, you need to run some extra steps. First, configure the manifest JSON file to set display to standalone or full screen. This will allow users to add your app to their home screen, which is a necessary step to be able to show notifications for your app on these platforms. Once users have added your app to their home screen, you need to ask for the permission to show push notifications. And you can do so by calling the request permission method that you also use for macOS. If the user grants the permission, you can get the FCM token by running messaging get token, as you can see here. For this web app I'm working on, what I'll do is update the app UI to show the token so I can copy it to use when sending a test notification from the Firebase console. All right, now that you've gone through all the steps to enable and configure push notifications on Safari for macOS, iOS, and iPadOS, it's time to test. To test notifications on my macOS, I need to open the app on Safari, as you can see here. I'm going to click this button to request a notification permission, and if everything goes well, the UI should update to show me the token. There it is. The next step is to copy this token and open the Firebase console. First, I'll navigate to the messaging dashboard where I can create a message campaign. To do so, I need to click on New Campaign, then choose the Notifications option. The only required field here is the text, but I'll also add a title to make this notification more friendly to my users. Now I need to click on the Send Test Message button. When I click this button, a box appears on the screen asking me to enter the token of the device I want to send the test notification to, so I can paste the token I retrieved when I granted the permission. Now all is left to do is click on Test. There it is! I can see the notification on Safari on my Mac OS. Great! Now let's test this on an iPhone. There are two things I need to do. Add the web app to my home screen and grant the notification permission. Once I do these two steps, the token is shown in the UI and I can copy it to send the test message. Back in the Firebase console, I proceed to create another campaign and add the token from my iOS device right here. And when I click Test, this is the result. I can see the notification being shown on my iPhone. From now on, I can send push notifications to increase engagement and re-engage users when something interesting happens while they're not actively using the app. And if you liked this release, check out Puff's video with other releases from August and subscribe to the Firebase channel to always stay on top of the latest releases. See you next time!